Good morning and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie and today I'm making some apple pecan scones and so uh, I've been so hungry for these and with fall anything apple and cinnamon just seems to hit the spot so I thought I would have you watch me. Okay first of all we need two and a third cups of flour so I am going to get a spoon here and I like to do the Spoon it in and then level it, level it off with a knife to be sure I have an exact cup. It's one. And I'm just using all-purpose flour. That's all I buy. I use it for everything. Cake, pie, cookies, anything. Bread. And I need one-third cup. Two and a third. There's my spoon down in there. two and a third and I'm going to keep this third cup handy because I need a third of a cup of sugar okay next I need two teaspoons of baking powder and that's what I have in here so I need two teaspoons And I just put fresh baking powder in that. I try to change it every so often. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Gonna mix that up real good. Flour, the sugar, the baking powder, baking soda, and salt. What I have in here so far. Okay, and then I have one apple. You can use any kind of apple you want. This one happened to be a Macintosh. And so I peeled it and cut it up in just little chunks. You don't want great big chunks because for all the longer they cook, they might not cook up. So I've got one apple. I would estimate that's probably three-fourths of a cup and a half a of a cup of pecans I did not grind them up I chopped them up with a knife on a cutting board because I'm, I like mine to have some pieces so I've got a half a cup of pecans I'm gonna mix that up then I have a half of a cup or a, or a stick of butter cut up in little chunks and chill and I'm gonna work that in with the pastry cutter. That may chop up some of my apples a little more too, but I really don't care because I don't want great big chunks of apples. I just want the flavor. And now I have three fourths of a cup of milk here. I'm not sure how much it will take. It usually takes a good half a cup and sometimes the full three fourths, so we'll see. So I'm gonna start by pouring some of it in there and then mixing. Okay, I'm obviously going to need more. So that's the full three-fourths cup. I'm actually going to put a little bit more. A couple more tablespoons. Okay, I've got this mixed up now. I used between three-fourths and one cup different days it seems like it goes different so today I needed a little more than three-fourths of a cup I'm going to go ahead and flour my counter here and put this out onto the flour and I'm going to knead this together so the oven's already set 325, not three, 425. Okay. I'm going to cut this into, I hope you can see that, into eight. Cut it in half first. Keep dipping it in the flour. It's 
so I'll get eight of these. All right. I'm going to sprinkle them with some cinnamon and sugar that I always keep mixed up here in this old Tupperware. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on before I put them in the oven. All right, I'm going to cook these on my baking stone, my Pampered Chef baking stone. As you can see, it's well seasoned, so I don't need to, to grease it or anything. But I'm going to put these onto the board, but not touching. All right, here they are, all eight of them. Okay, our apple pecan scones are done, and I'm getting ready to put a glaze on them. I have a half a cup of powdered sugar in here, and I'm going to put two tablespoons of milk in it. And I'm going to put just a little shake of cinnamon, just a little bit. All right, and we'll mix that up. So there we are. Thank you for watching.